So in this uh, video, I'm going to introduce the uh, Maya via Taurus sequence. Okay, so uh, um, so uh, X uh, in space, uh, U and V open subsets uh, with X being equal to a union of U and V. Uh, um, uh, uh, so we have uh, inclusions. Okay, so you've got U intersect V uh, going by I um, is the inclusion in U and J will be the inclusion in V. K will be the inclusion of that in U union V, which was X and L uh, will be uh, the uh, inclusion of V in there. Okay, <coughs> um, and uh, from these we get uh, maps of uh, homology groups. So you got uh, J lower star, K lower star, L lower star. Okay, so um, this this diagram obviously commutes. These are basically just identity maps, so everything's the same. Uh, and then because K composed with I is the same as L composed with J, uh, it follows by functoriality that uh, K star composed with I star is L star composed with J star. And so we can reorganize that uh, information slightly. Uh, Let's look at this sequence here. So we're going to take uh, the uh, homology of the intersection, and then we're going to go to the homology of U plus the homology of V, and then to the homology of uh, U, uh, U uh, union V, or let's just, let's just X, let's just call it X. Okay. <coughs> um, and so this map is going to be, I'm going to write as I star and minus J star. Uh, and this map here, I'm going to write as K star L star. Um, <clears throat> and so what do I mean by these maps? Uh, yeah. um, so by the map I star minus J star, I just mean the map which sends U, it sends an element A to uh, I star A comma minus J star A. And by the map K lower star L lower star, uh, that, by that I mean the map that sends a pair B comma C uh, to K star B plus L lower star C. <coughs> okay, and so if you think about it, uh, we do both of these things, right? You do the, this map followed by that one, then you get K star I star A uh, minus uh, L star J star A, but uh, K star I star and L star J star are the same. So the composite across here is zero. Um, this composite is the uh, zero homomorphism. <coughs> okay. Um, and uh, so to say that this composite is zero homomorphism, as we've kind of discussed in the context of exactness, uh, that means that the image of this first map here is contained in the kernel of the second one. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so let's just write that again. We've got uh, H star U intersect V uh, mapping to H star U plus H star V, uh, and then to H star X. Okay, let's, uh, let's also call this one alpha and this one beta. And uh, so, uh, um, so yeah, the fact that uh, L, uh, Ki equals Lj implies that beta alpha is zero which is uh, equivalent to saying that the image of alpha 
is contained in the kernel of beta, um, <clears throat> which is kind of half of the definition of exactness. Um, so it's a fact um, uh, that uh, the sequence star uh, is exact. Uh, I, the image of alpha is equal to the kernel of beta, uh, but uh, not usually short exact. Uh, so in other words, a uh, alpha um, is not injective and beta is not surjective. At least they might be in particular cases, but uh, but not in general. They're not uh, they don't have those properties. <coughs> okay, so that's kind of uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of unfortunate. I mean, the, uh, uh, the the sort of hope with this sort of thing is that uh, you know, typically you might uh, you uh, u and v and u intersect v might be simpler spaces than x somehow, and you would hope to uh, sort of start by understanding the homology of u intersect v, u and v, and then somehow from that deduce what the homology of x is. Um, and, uh, you know, and if you knew that this was a short exact sequence, then you could do that. Uh, but uh, just knowing that it's an exact sequence is not really very, not really strong enough. So yeah, we need to know a bit more than that. We need to know what about the kernel of alpha, and uh, we need to about, about, about the image of beta, or equivalently the co-kernel of beta, the quotient of h star x by the image of beta. And uh, <coughs> Uh, and the, the kind of key thing uh, about the Meyer Viatoris theorem is that the kernel of alpha is closely related uh, to the co kernel of beta. Uh, and uh, so that's what we need to explain. Um, okay, so here's the main theorem of Meyer and, Meyer and, Vi and Viatoris. Um, Uh, natural maps, uh, delta, which go uh, from uh, hn of u union v, or in other words, hn of x, to hn minus 1 of u intersect v, uh, <coughs> uh, such that uh, we do uh, start at uh, hn plus 1, u union v, and then we do delta to uh, hn of u intersect v, then by uh, the map which we called alpha on the last screen, uh, to hn u plus hn v, and then the map beta to uh, <coughs> uh, hn u union v, and then the next delta hn minus 1 of u intersect v. Okay. Uh, uh, is that this uh, this sequence is exact. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, so here I've just kind of written one row of it, um, uh, but uh, it's it's kind of actually better if we organize it this way. Uh, so I'll write it a bit smaller, HNU union V. Uh, sorry, no, I want to start with intersection V here, HNU plus HNV, HN U union V. Okay, so then you can draw the delta kind of curling back around a year to HN minus 1, U intersect V, HN minus 1 U plus HN minus 1 V, HN minus 1 of U union V, and you curl around again and do the whole thing, do the thing once more. Okay, so we can uh, do this kind of infinite thing here, and uh, yeah, I guess we should say it sort of ends up with uh, H0U intersect V, H0U plus H0V, H0U union V, 
then the next group, well, the remaining groups, you know, you, I mean, in principle, this kind of carries on to the negative groups. The negative groups are all zero. So we can just put a, a zero here. Uh, and uh, this is still exact. Uh, in other words, this map here is surjective. OK, so it's going to take quite a lot of work to uh, prove the Maya Torus theorem. Uh, so we're not going to start with that just yet. Um, but uh, in fact, for this uh, rest of this uh, uh, the rest of this video, we're just going to do one slight modification of the Maya Vitoris uh, theorem. Uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll uh, have uh, some examples and some applications of the Maya Vitoris theorem, and then only after that, we'll get into dealing with the proof. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so like I said, the one slight modification I want to do just now is uh, uh, okay, so we can define the truncated Maya Vitoris sequence. Uh, it's just what I get by uh, replace all h zeros uh, with naught. Uh, and I uh, just want to claim uh, that uh, <coughs> uh, if u intersect v is path connected, uh, then uh, <coughs> um, uh, then the uh, truncated uh, uh, <coughs> uh, truncated sequence is also exact. <coughs> okay. Um, okay. So uh, let's just check why this is. Um, uh, So I just need to check that if we look at, uh, say, uh, uh, H1U plus H1V, uh, H1U union V, and then by delta to H0, uh, well, um, uh, uh, Okay, I mean, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, if we go any further to the left than this, then the uh, truncated sequence is exactly the same as the untruncated sequence. So, uh, so it's exact by the theorem. Um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, and if we go any further to the right, then yeah, we've just got zeros. So it's just kind of this fragment that still needs to be checked. Um, and then, uh, <clears throat> okay. So let's uh, let's call these guys. Um, yeah, so yeah, this we can call alpha and beta. Um, yeah, so then here, you know, the image of alpha is the kernel of beta uh, by exactness of the untruncated thing. Uh, <coughs> um, okay, so. So we just need to check that uh, beta is surjective. So the uh, so the uh, Maya Torres theorem says that if we look uh, you know, we look at the original sequence. Um, Let's call this one alpha prime. Okay, so uh, um, <coughs> um, uh, so the uh, the Maya Torres theorem tells us that th this sequence is exact. Um, uh, uh, so let's uh, uh, choose um, uh, any a, any point a, and u intersect v. Um, <coughs> now. Uh, uh, 
um, for any space, uh, any space T, you know, H zero of T is uh, the free abelian group on uh, pi zero T. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so that means that H0 of U intersect V is a free abelian group just generated by the class of this uh, point A. Um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, H0U is a <clears throat> free abelian group on Okay, you've got one uh, generator, one basis element for each path component, and uh, square bracket A is one of those path components. Uh, and same sort of story for V. So from this, it's pretty clear that this uh, alpha prime is injective. Okay, so alpha prime sends our basis element here to a kind of basis element there and another basis element there. Uh, so this, that's an injective map. Uh, okay, um, so uh, the exactness means the image of delta is the kernel of alpha prime. Alpha prime is injective, kernel of alpha prime is zero. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, kernel of alpha prime is zero. So the image of delta is zero, which means delta is a zero homomorphism. Um, <clears throat> uh, and that implies kernel of beta, kernel of delta is the whole of H1 U union V, uh, but uh, by exactness that means that the image of beta uh, is H1 of U union V, i.e. beta is surjective. Okay, so that proves that uh, we can, uh, in the case where uh, U intersect V is uh, connected, uh, then we can uh, <coughs> Um, in case of U, U intersect V is connected, uh, then we can truncate the Maya Vettori sequence, it'll still be exact. Um, yeah, and then we've also got, uh, um, yeah, so that's just, uh, quite often it'll happen actually that U and V are also connected. U and V are connected, then it's uh, pretty easy to see that U union V is connected as well, right? Because uh, you know, if U and V are both connected, then at any point in U, can, you can connect to A by a path in U. Any point in V, you can connect to A by a path in V. So any point in uh, U union V or the whole space, you can connect to a, to A by some path. Um, so yeah, um, so if U and V are both connected, then so is U union V in this case. Uh, and in that case, you say all the all the H zero groups will just be the integers. Okay. Um, so that's a, that's a common case. Okay, so that's uh, that's what the Maya Vettori theorem says. And in the next video, we'll have some applications of it.